Hey, this is Mark, markgps.com, and we're at 839 North Camino Condor today. I want to thank the Leonardo Group for letting me get in here and take the video. It is an open house, so you're going to see some people around. Uh, this is a three-bedroom, two-bath, 1624 square foot house. It's an Oasis del Sol. This is on the north end. Um, I'm starting to swing around to look east. Farrell is just sort of on the other end of those homes over there and then the airport. So there will be a little bit of airport noise. Uh, not a terribly busy airport. We have about 40 major airplanes a day. Although I did notice today as coming over here, there must be something going on at the Air Flight Museum. There's some great old uh, beautiful planes that are flying around, which I always find really interesting. Anyhow, we're going to go in and take a look at this. Uh, this home was last sold in 2015 and they did a bunch of updates to it. Uh, you can see with the breeze block that they added, it's got a nice sort of mid-century tone to it, but it was originally built in 1979. Um, you can see the mountains behind, two-car garage. Uh, this is a corner lot, so there's two pie-shaped lots here that are uh, sharing the corner. So it's got a nice, you know, it's tight in the front and then expands out considerably in the back, I'm sure, but we'll see that in a second. I'm picking it up at the front door. I noticed that a airplane is taking off. I can hear a little bit of it. I think it might be going the other direction because, oh, that didn't I take off. Anyhow, it gives you another view of the front yard. Sounds like there's a dog next door to barking. Um, I can see him there. Actually, he must be from this home. I think that that is part of this house. And then these are the front doors. So we're gonna go inside. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is a million one forty nine. Okay, so we've walked to the front door. You've got uh, a nice entry. You have a step down into the living room, and then you get to see out to the pool, which is really great. Leonardo, Wade, star of the day. He's the real estate agent for this property. He's also um, holding the open house today. So you can see it's got the nice fireplace. Um, what they did is that window there in the center of the frame right now, uh, I believe that has been added. And then of course this uh, window to the left of the sliding doors was added and then the window in the kitchen was enlarged. So all of this is pretty spectacular because you get to see the view, which is great. And one of the smaller airplanes is going over right now. There's a little bit of sound from that. As I said, those are great. Uh, I'll go outside and do an official outside gist in a second, but I wanted to give you another look here. So dining room is nice and large. There's glass block partitions so that you um, have a little bit of a definition between the living room and those different spaces. There's the same thing going on at the entryway. Those are the double doors we were just outside of. And then you can see that here is our kitchen. Now the kitchen's really a nice size. It's got pops of color. Um, this was done in 2015. The whole, the whole redo would have been done after their purchase in 2015. So 2015, 16, maybe into 17. Great kitchen, great size of kitchen. Nice views. Uh, I'm a big fan of being at a sink and being able to see out since, I don't know, I do a lot of prep in the kitchen. So if you're like me, that's gonna be kind of a nice thing. Uh, appliances look like they're in good shape. They're not brand new, but hey, as long as they're working and they're pretty, these hit both of those qualities for me. Uh, and then they have this sort of nice pantry area over here. So this is great. I'm gonna go ahead and take this outside because there is a plane taking off right now. And that always helps to get some sort of perspective of the sound on that. This one's already well into the air. Inside we didn't hear very much. There it is right there. That's what you're going to be hearing on a regular basis. I, I think that that's, I mean for me that's not a big deal, but uh, for other people of course it might be. This is the master side of the house. We will get to this primary bedroom. Uh, the, the door you see to the right used to be the bathroom. That has now been in, made into a master closet and the bathroom has been relocated. Uh, the, as I mentioned, we were coming in, it's a pie-shaped lot, so it gets very expansive towards the back here. So we have, you know, a nice size. This is the back side of the garage. You can see the solar on top. That's the, the door from the garage. And then we have the equipment tucked away here, which is very nice. Uh, there's lots of space going back into the corner. Uh, I could see an ADU in there pretty easily if you want an outside office. Great views. Uh, behind us, there is some sort of structure directly behind us where this um, flagpole is. I suggest looking at the map. You'll see that there's a, kind of a lot there with at the end of a cul-de-sac. It could someday be developed. So there may be a house there. Uh, I just don't know that that would happen anytime soon. Great big backyard. Uh, as I said, again, you can see that since it's pie shaped, it goes way back into the corner. Then there's this cute little shed. I'm not going to explore that. So you'll have to leave that for your imagination. I'm sure it's 
charming. <laughs> um, we do have a fire pit here, and there are the little doggies. So, oh, how adorable they are. So those are the guys that were greeting us at the front door next to a lemon tree and an orange tree. And then I'm looking back at the house so you can see the sliders that I came out of as well as the solar panels. That center section of black tarp, that is actually solar heating for the pool. Um, so that's a whole different system where the black material will soak up heat and the water's in small tubes in there. All right, let's go find the three bedrooms and we'll take All right, so just picking up from orientation, there is the, the back door, the sliding black door. We're back in the entry. So you see this beautiful little entry altar they have here. Um, I didn't show where the, the refrigerator was, so this actually helps so that you can see that area. And then you can see the hallway. So the edits in this house is where that picture is at the end of the hallway. <clears throat> that used to go straight through. And then there was the door to the garage. Behind that now is the bathroom for the primary bedroom. So we will see that in a little bit. Uh, the right, to the right, is the first of the three bedrooms. This is the front center bedroom. There's carpet in here versus tile that is in the rest of the house. And um, you can see the breeze block outside that we noted when we were looking at the house. There's a nice size uh, closet. And it's just a, you know, this is a good size bedroom. Make a great little office if you wanted to. Uh, coming back to the hallway, on the right-hand side, there's a linen closet. That's what those cabinets are. Left-hand side's the hallway bath. So uh, I'll take a quick look here. So we have tile and then the cabinet, uh, nice surfaces. Everything's really clean and neat in this house. Um, and then the window going outside. Actually, that's going to the closet. That window is going to the closet in the primary bedroom uh, and that's glass block. And then you have the full shower with tub here. So that is the first bathroom, and then we will look at the primary. Um, back to the hallway. Now we're gonna go to the right first. That's the second bedroom. This is the front bedroom, also with the breeze block. You can see that the closet is has been opened up here, which is nice. And um, wow, this is a, this is a great space, uh, just because of what is in the space. It's a wonderful bedroom, I'm gonna tell you that. but. This is really lovely. It uh, looks like it's a, an altar again, and it's a prayer space, probably Buddhist. I'm afraid I'm not up on all that, but it's lovely. Uh, so great room. Again, carpet, and we have tile that's on the floor. Now you'll notice that the tile, although not in this room, does go into the primary bedroom. So the primary bedroom is going to be a tiled space. Uh, nice and large. We have big window here, and that's going to be looking out at the view. And then there's a king-size bed and then that door there to the right, that is the door that was added to go to the garage. So this room is sort of unique in that it connects to the garage. Uh, I'm going to put my camera at the level of waking up. Uh, that's what you would see, doesn't suck. <laughs> and then uh, the door there to the closet, that's the walk-in closet that I mentioned when I was outside. So that was where the bathroom was and they wanted to make that into a master closet and it is also the place that has that glass block that goes to the hallway bath, which gives it a little bit of light. As I come around, you're gonna see the door that I entered through. You'll see the bedroom across that has the altar. And then this is the primary bedroom, or bath rather. So this ensuite was redone the same period of time. Different tile, um, and that's a travertine. And then you have the cabinets with a nice marble or granite countertop. Storage above, nice size shower. So the tub is in the, uh, the bath down or the bath down the hall. And then, um, and then we have the commode. Yes, I love when you look in the MLS and somebody just posts that as a picture. It doesn't really do you very much good. Uh, I think we missed all of the mirrors where I tell you, hey, it's mark, markgps.com. So I will just say it. And if you have any questions about real estate in the desert, of course, please feel free to give me a call. But again, this is 839 North Camino Condor. And thank you again to the Leonardo Montenegro Group for letting us get in here.